face shooters all around the world. I just want to do a quick review on the Ruger LCP Max 380. Uh, some things caught my eyes. This is actually my everyday carry um, belly gun or boot gun or whatever you want to call it. This is my second line of defense. And I actually, I carry it everywhere and I love it. But I just want to give you a quick, honest review of how this is going so far. I've had this gun for about six months. I've only taken it to the range. This is my second time. And exactly what I've been using right here. This is what it comes with. It comes with a soft pocket holder, a pink extension, a, a round loader, and a cable. And it comes with one 10 round magazine. And I don't know if you can see that. It does say Ruger on 380 on the magazine. So you know it's made by Ruger. The first thing I did when I bought this gun is I went to Academy Sports and bought the extension, which was the 12 round extension. And so I got 13 and one. That's what I normally carry. This is my backup. And it does say Ruger on the uh, magazine that I do have loaded right now. And I did use Blazer ammunition uh, loaded by CCI. And I can tell you folks, it was very um, inconsistent, I, I believe. Um, as you can see, when I do show you the video, uh, it had a lot of f muzzle flash. So th this ammo is actually very dirty. This is dirty ammo, but I had no hiccups, no fade to feed, no fade to fire no light primer strikes. So that is a good a plus about that ammunition. But like I said, a lot of muzzle flash, so I know my gun is good and dirty. And I just wanna go give a quick review of the um, 100 first 50 rounds that I put through this uh, Ruger LCP Max. As you can see, folks, I was aiming for the diamonds. And as you can see, I was coming up short uh, this was the previous, this was, um, before I even came to the range, these last two, uh, right here. I had a couple that did make it in red, as you can see, uh, very inconsistent. Uh, you can even see rounds down here at the bottom. Um, okay. And this is my second, um, time shooting at it and it did get a little better but I, I did have some flyers of course i'm shooting at diamond shoot at the bullseye i did come up i felt confident with that uh shooting at diamond as you can see uh this was my last magazine right here so this is my last magazine of the 50 rounds and I can honestly say, had I been trying to aim, defend my life, to aim and hit vital organs, I believe I would have failed. Now, I would probably have hit the guy or predator or what a bad guy or whatever you want to call it. I might have hit him, but with a 380, you definitely want to try to hit vital organs, and I fail. But the good thing about it, folks, this is my second time at the range, and I can only do, the only thing I can do is get better. So that is my review. And actually, folks, this is what I carry. This is the ammunition is uh, loaded by Underwood. Uh, Underwood, 380 ammunition. Um, yes, um, it says it's moving it. It's 380 plus P ammunition. And it's a Hornady XTP bullet loaded on top of the cartridge. So the XTP bullet is supposed to be a great hunting round. So a great self-defense bullet loaded on top of this uh, this uh, Underwood. And it's moving at 1,200 feet per second. And you got to take off about 40 feet per, per at 40. It's, it's moving at 1,200 feet per second, probably out of a four-inch barrel. Put it like that. And I got a three inch barrel here, so we're gonna cut off about 40 feet per per um, half inch. So about 80 feet less, 80 to 100 feet. So out of my gun, it's probably moving about 1100 feet per second. Still hot, that's still a hot round coming out of that 380 uh, for self-defense. So 
that was my review folks and like i said i can only get better and hope to get in these diamonds uh make some better well aimed shots and i probably won't be using this ccr blazer ammo anymore definitely as you can see folks in the video you'll see a lot of muzzle flash so it's very dirty um very inconsistent very inconsistent so i definitely will probably pay a little bit more and get some better thread ammo for for the range if you guys can let me know what you're using at the range uh send in the comments what you're using and i'll probably try to take it to the range okay guys take it easy